Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Ball Fake Podcast. If you're watching on YouTube, make sure to like, subscribe, and support our new movement by putting Let's Go Viral in the comment section. But if you're listening on Apple Podcasts or Spotify, make sure to give us a five-star rating and a nice review. But without further ado, here are your hosts, Nicely Chugga Benny and Greg King. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Ball Fake Podcast, members of the Off the Ball Network. And today we're going to be discussing whether or not the Lakers should be considering trading away their asset in Anthony Davis. But before we get started with today's episode, if you are new to our YouTube channel or you're listening on Apple Podcasts or Spotify, do me a quick favor before you start listening to this episode. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and turn on post notifications. And if you're listening on any form of podcast streaming platform, make sure to give us a five-star rating and a nice review. I would greatly appreciate it. But obviously t- today's topic of discussion is Anthony Davis. Now, this is an asset that the Los Angeles Lakers brought in two seasons ago that potentially, you know, was a team that was more than likely going to be in the NBA Finals for the foreseeable future, bringing in an asset like Anthony Davis. Now, obviously the 2020 NBA championship was a, ch- a championship that the Lakers so comfortably have been, you know, thirsting for because, you know, there was a 10 year drought without them winning. And, you know, this was a team that was in a rebuilding situation that wasn't very conducive to winning. Bringing in an asset like Anthony Davis, you obviously are well aware that this is a guy that is going to be missing time due to, you know, a, a very having a very bad track record in terms of, you know, being a healthy asset. Anthony Davis, over the last three seasons, has only played in 134 games, and he's got 66 DNPs. And just judging by his level of play that he's been producing as of this season, this is a guy that obviously has not been playing up to his all-star caliber form. Currently on the year, he's averaging 23 points per game, which is the third lowest of his career. 9.9 rebounds per game, which is also the third lowest of his career. Not to mention only keying in at about 70% from the charity stripe, which for most centers is probably good, but for Anthony Davis, that is the lowest of his career. And on top of that, the icing on the cake with his outside shooting, only keying in at about 16.9% from beyond the arc, which is the lowest of his career. There's not a whole lot of optimism about Anthony Davis's play as of right now. And understandably, a lot of it has to do with the fact that this is a guy that continuously is, you know, coming off of an injury, getting hurt, coming off of an injury, getting hurt, and then coming off of another injury, and then getting hurt. There has been no consistency with Anthony Davis over the last two seasons. And I think, you know, the fact that Rob Palenka and Jeannie Buss didn't bring in the proper assets that were conducive to, you know, winning this season, not to mention complimentary to LeBron James and Anthony Davis's game from an individual standpoint, That is why you've been seeing such a huge dip in Anthony Davis' numbers in production this season. Now, a lot of it has to do with Anthony Davis from an individual aspect, obviously. But I do feel like Rob Palenka and Jeannie Buss deserve a little bit of the blame as well. But with that being said, since Anthony Davis has not been playing up to par, there's been a lot of questions on whether or not this is a guy that you want to be your franchise player for the foreseeable future. Should the Los Angeles Lakers trade away Anthony Davis? And if I'm the Los Angeles Lakers, I do believe that you should maybe consider trading away this asset due to, you know, the injury history with with this guy and the fact that, you know, he's regressed on both sides of the basketball. But if I'm the Lakers, I would not trade away Anthony Davis. And here's why. Anthony Davis in 2020 already showcased to you that he could potentially be a top five player in the entire NBA. And that says a lot, just given the talent and the a variety of you know skillful players throughout the entire landscape of the entire NBA for Anthony Davis to be considered a top five talent if not the most talented player in the entire league really says a lot you do not trade away an asset like that number two you will not necessarily get much better when you trade away an asset like Anthony Davis I cannot picture any team trading away an asset like Anthony Davis and getting better with him gone the problem is the fact that you know he's not available and not to mention you the current roster judging by you know the outlook and the production of you know the players that have been on this team so far this season you don't have a championship roster to begin with so whether or not you trade away anthony davis or not there's not going to be all that much of a difference anyway this is a guy that's going to be on your books for the next two to three seasons he's going to be an unrestricted free agent i believe at the end of 2024 And this is a guy that you understandably knew was going to be an injury prone asset when you traded for him. When you gave up your assets in Lonzo Ball, a guy who's going to be one day an all NBA level defender. Giving up Brandon Ingram, a guy who's already made an all-star team. 
including Josh Hart within that trade package. Somebody who's a quality rotational role player in the entire NBA so far this season. While also adding draft compensation to that trade package, you understood what came with that. This is the bed that the Los Angeles Lakers made. And for them to potentially think about turning back on that, trading away Anthony Davis, for these rumors to start to circulate, if Rob Palenka decides that you know he is no longer going to want Anthony Davis as an asset on his team and he trades him away, that is a very bad look on the Lakers organization as a whole. Players, all-star caliber players, all NBA level players, the top 15 type of guys in the league aren't gonna be as willing to come to the Lakers because they're gonna look at Anthony Davis' the situation and they're gonna think they traded an asset away like him whenever he was at his lowest point. And NBA players think like that when it comes to making decisions to join other organizations. And if you're Rob Palenka, a guy who already has such a very bad reputation in the league and isn't all that likable, you have to be a little bit more cautious when you have moves like that. Now, the Lakers have not came out and said that, you know, they're in talks with, you know, trading away their asset in Anthony Davis. But if you're the Los Angeles Lakers, you cannot trade him away. And this is a guy that already has won you a championship. He was arguably the best player throughout that entire playoff run in 2020. He's a top five defender in the entire league, and he's going to be a consistent defensive player of the year candidate on a consistent basis. Not to mention what he gives you on the offensive end, keying in about 27 and 13 on a typically good year. So when you take all that stuff into consideration, the fact that you're not going to get better when you trade away Anthony Davis, given your current roster, the fact that unless you bring in an all-star caliber player, which aren't too many of them are available right now, unless you bring Damian Lillard in or Bradley Beal, which two guys have also not been proven to really take teams over the hump, you're not going to be in a better situation trading away Anthony Davis. So with that being said, the Los Angeles Lakers should not consider trading away Anthony Davis. We understand that, you know, he's a guy who's very injury prone. You know, he's got a bad history in, in terms of, you know, being a healthy asset. But you don't want that bad reputation hovering over your head because there will not be another superstar caliber player coming to the Los Angeles Lakers anytime soon if you deal away an asset like Anthony Davis due to you know his injury history. You already missed out on guys like Paul George in previous seasons, Kawhi Leonard, guys who already don't want to be in the limelight of the Los Angeles Lakers organization. So to add to that negativity that potentially you know a lot of players don't want to have to deal with because you're seeing it right now with Russell Westbrook if you are the Los Angeles Lakers you cannot trade away Anthony Davis this is the bed you guys dealt with when you traded away all your younger assets and draft compensation to acquire him. and ultimately you won a championship it was a positive positive. and although things do not look great right now there has been a some level of cohesion starting to form with this team now, granted, this will be essentially the same team that you see as of right now on the team next year, despite maybe losing out on their assets that are on minimum contracts as of right now. But with that being said, if you can have a healthy LeBron James and Russell Westbrook can learn to be a complimentary asset and you guys can improve the rotational pieces that are on the roster and the team, there is some hope that you could crack into the top four, top five, especially if LeBron James continuously plays at the level of play that he's been playing at this year. And with that being said, you cannot trade away Anthony Davis because he already won you a championship. This is a guy that you knew was going to be injury prone. And on top of that, it would be a very bad look on the organization for you to trade away a guy who won you a championship at his lowest point due to the fact that he's dealing with injuries. So with that being said, if you're the Los Angeles Lakers, you cannot trade away Anthony Davis. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Do the Lakers need to trade away Anthony Davis? Should they heavily consider it or not? But thank you guys so much for tuning in to another episode of Meet on the Ball Make Podcast. If you're new to our YouTube channel or you're listening on Apple Podcasts or Spotify, make sure to give us a five-star rating and a nice review. But besides that, it's your boy, Nicey Chunker Benny. You're listening to the Ball Fake Podcast, and we out.